The Terre Haute City Council is learning more about where tax money would go if a Vigo County School Corporation referendum is approved. Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Superintendent Dr. Rob Hayworth gave his presentation of the state of the schools at the Terre Haute City Council meeting tonight. It showed more information on why the school needs a referendum. And for the first time, we hear exactly where that money will be allocated. News 10 Sarah Lehman was at the city council meeting tonight. In tonight's top story, she joins us now live with more. Patrice, tonight here in City Hall at the Terre Haute City Council meeting, Superintendent Rob Hayworth told the council about the Vigo County Schools Corporation, what they're facing and what they need to fix it. Now, it's something we've been reporting on for the past few months. The Vigo County School Corporation is putting an operational referendum on your ballots this November. Tonight, Hayworth presented to the council why they need that operation and where that money will be going. Those are numbers we haven't seen until tonight. It's $260,000 would go toward health costs. 588,000 would go toward counselors. 300,000 would go toward behavior interventionists. 3 million would cover teacher compensation. 1.4 million for safety and another 1 million for transportation. My hope is that we can continue the type of collaboration, uh, sharing of information, sharing of projects as we move forward. Uh, I think that type of uh, collaboration is what works in uh, 2020. As a concerned citizen, and I have a couple of granddaughters moving back here soon, so of course I'm, I'm very interested in what happens with the schools. I've always been interested in that. Um, I think we cannot be a healthy community if we don't have healthy schools, and the schools can't be healthy if they don't have the money that they need to operate. Now tonight, Hayworth presented here specifically because the city council had asked him to. It was strictly for information here tonight. Council President Martha Crossan says they want to always learn more about things that are going on in the city and things that are affecting the city and the school system is, of course, one of those things. Hayworth says if the corporation continues on the track that they're on and if no action is taken, they will be in the red by January of 2021. Now he says that they are taking action, of course, but he says that uh, they will take that action uh, to avoid going into the red at all costs. Reporting live in Terre Haute, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you. Well, another thing that came out of the city council meeting tonight is a tax abatement for the old downtown YMCA building. Earlier this year, a group asked for a 10 year tax abatement on the building. They want to turn the old Y into apartment complex that was turned down. But now they're back and asking for an eight year tax abatement tonight, though. They asked to table the vote because they are getting bids for the building. The petitioner said when they come back in a month, he hopes to have more information on who will be completing that project.